Ashe Empresses, it's the Sacral Empress back with another YouTube video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Ashanti. I'm an intuitive healer, I offer Reiki healing services along with readings on the side. So if that interests you, feel free to click the link in my description and welcome to the Empress Empire. So you clicked on this video because you have a Sagittarius sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Mars. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. I hope you're ready and prepared because the tea is always piping hot over here. They know what I'm going to say. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job. Hello to my Sagittarius placements. I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. I'm going to go ahead and dive in. This reading for the week is going to be about the month of April. So what does April have in store for you? What you can look forward to in April? Yada, yada, yada. April, April, April. Okay, so spirit, guides, and ancient ancestors, I ask that you come through and provide nothing but clear and accurate messages at this time for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, and I'm doing this on a Jupiter day. This is very fitting. All right, three of cups is here. We got the four of cups here as well. And we also have the six of cups. A lot of water here. A lot of water here for you guys. Okay, so with the three of cups, you guys may be having a lot of fun this month. Um, there could be some type of like celebration. Like I just get a celebratory type of energy. So some of you could be graduating, uh, maybe in the month of April, or maybe you're preparing for graduation in May. I don't know how it works in different states or countries, but I just get this sense of like you guys celebrating. Um, so could definitely be a graduation, could be celebrating, um, like I'm getting like somebody celebrating like leaving an ex or like a like a divorce type of celebration like you know you're leaving a abusive partner um or abusive like situation or maybe there's some type of anniversary coming up but it just seems like there's some celebration so think about you know this month of April and if anything has happened this month in previous years um that is worth celebrating okay even if you're just celebrating life just to celebrate life um but it just seems like there's something that you're celebrating here this month Next is the Four of Cups. With the Four of Cups, it seems as though there's some discontentness here. Like there's some, you're feeling discontent about something. Um, Four of Cups is also kind of in a way um, avoiding like something new. Like maybe you're focused on having fun so much that you're missing out on other things. You know what I'm saying? They could potentially be fun. So I think where Spirit's going with this is that, you know, you're balancing out this energy of, you know, work and play um and really just going from there you know because you don't want to mix you know business and pleasure you want to make sure that they are their own entities um separate so i do feel like with the four of cups like you know you have your time to have fun you also have your time to be serious about your craft or you know your career path or you know your dreams and your aspirations and things like that uh, because you want your fun time to be your fun time. You want your work time to be your work time. And I understand that. So that may be where you guys are drawing a line this month and be like, okay, this is, these are the days out of the week where I'm going to do this. And these are the day out, days out of the week that I'm going to do this or focus on this thing. So next is the six of cups. So the six of cups for me, I always see this as like, you know, inner child healing, um, reflecting on the past, uh, revisiting certain things from the past as well. Um, but I will say with this, like, you know, this is still that, that childlike energy that you guys are, um, I guess, diving a little bit more into. Um, for some of you, you could be just be having fun based on, you know, what fun has always been to you, but maybe try to have fun based on, you know, what's fun for your inner child, what's fun for your soul. You know what I'm saying? What's fun for, you know, a part of you that didn't get to have fun. So I do feel like for you right now, like you're revisiting all these areas of your life where you probably weren't having fun or you weren't enjoying life or you weren't present and living in the moment, um, which is all important. So important. So. You got three, four, and six here. So with three, it does seem like for a lot of you, you need to get creative at this time. So maybe, um, let's say you don't have anything to celebrate this month. Think of something that is worth celebrating that you haven't celebrated. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have had a graduation in the fifth grade that nobody did anything for. Nobody acknowledged it. Nobody showed up, you know? So ha have a celebration for your fifth grade self, you know, in honor of that. Um, or if there's something that you did growing up that nobody recognized, like let's say you, um, 
can't really think of nothing off the top of my head. But let's say you broke a record, you know what I'm saying, when you were younger and nobody acknowledged it or nobody saw it as this big thing. You know, you can see it as a big thing now. Um, so I guess Spirit's saying that it's never too late to celebrate yourself. And I love that. That speaks volumes. It's never too late to celebrate yourself, Sagittarius. Um, so this may be the month of celebrating you. So celebrate you all month long and forget about what anybody else has to say. Okay? You deserve it. You literally deserve it. You've worked hard for it. Uh, with four here, four stability, home, um, foundation, structure. So it does seem like with the four here, you know, it may be some some home things that you're reflecting on this month. Like maybe you're thinking a lot about your home life or thinking a lot about, you know, feeling, just feeling secure, you know, just doing things that make you feel secure uh, within yourself, which I think is also another beautiful thing. So I think that this month really gives y'all an opportunity to find what sticks and what doesn't. And then with six, six is the heart, compassion, love. Um, so I do think that this is a really good time to review some things that, you know, you used to love that you may have been, or I guess some things you used to do that you love that you haven't really done much of, if that makes sense. Like do more of the things you love, basically what I'm trying to say. Do more of what you love, Sagittarius, okay? Let's see what else you guys have got. You got the chariot here. You got the ten of pentacles here. And you also have the knight of wands. Uh, so with the chariot, like I said, you want to celebrate yourself. I feel like you've been moving on to bigger and better things anyways. Like just even celebrating this transition that you're in right now. You're transitioning into something. You're moving out of an old cycle. You're moving into something more new um, and refreshing to your soul. Um, so I think even in this sense, you know, you want to make sure that you're honoring that. Um, and honoring the fact that you've come a long way. Like some of you could have just got out of like a really abusive relationship or just could have got out of something really like, I guess got out of a situation you didn't think you were going to make it out of. You made it out and that's worth celebrating. Um, so celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Honestly, celebrate good times. Come on. Like that's the energy I'm getting. <laughs> that is the energy that I'm getting for you guys. And I do feel like y'all need to like, you know, Honestly, celebrate the small wins too, you know, just as much as the big wins, like celebrate the smallest wins. Like it doesn't even matter. Like if you made your bed up today, I'm proud of you. If you took a shower today, I'm proud of you. If you took a walk and worked out or exercised in some type of way, I'm proud of you. If you laid in the bed, guess what? I'm proud of you. You laid in the bed successfully today and I, I see it. I see it and I'm proud of you. Uh, but no, seriously, you guys need to celebrate your small wins. Like try not to overlook and undermine um, the things that you do because you're doing it and it speaks volume. You know, even if you feel you're doing the bare minimum, you're still doing something and you need to credit yourself for the things that you do, the person that you're becoming, the life that you're living, so on and so forth. So with the Ten of Pentacles being here with the Four of Cups, you guys are focusing more on like, you know, having that... Um, Huh, what would I say? I guess more so having like the wealth, you know what I'm saying? Having that financial freedom, like you look forward to that. Um, and I could definitely see with the Ten of Pentacles, you know, you've put a lot of time and energy into building something so that you could have that financial freedom. Maybe it isn't giving you what you want it to give you. Um, but sometimes, Sag, things are not going to go your way. Um, uh, that's just the reality of it. You know, things are not always going to go your way and it's okay because, that just goes to show that some things that you want aren't things that you need right now. So you may have to put your wants on, you know, uh, on the shelf for a second so that you can receive what you need. Um, and what you need is way more important than what you want. So I think that that's another key element here is that, you know, that financial freedom is yours. But there are some things that you need before you even get to that point. Okay, so focus on your needs. Focus on your wellness right now, Sag. Um, also in the month of April, Warrior of Wands is here or a uh, knight of wands is here um so with the knight of wands it seems like you guys are taking more action towards a passion of yours i'm thinking more of like a passion that you had when you were a kid um what's some things that you wanted to do as a kid like you know how they say what do you want to be when you grow up what was your answer to that and what are you doing now with your life you know is it a reflection of that um are you living that i are you living that out for your inner child um although that can change over time you know we get older we wisen up we find things that we like more um but entertain this for a little bit this month i think this month is really an explorative period for you guys um so explore that you know if you wanted to be a veterinarian um when you were a kid how about go to a um animal shelter um and maybe donate or you know learn more about animals take like some type of um 
like a museum trip to you know like a like what is it called it's like a dinosaur um exhibit like they got dinosaur world here in kentucky or something like that and i used to go we used to go for field trips and stuff when i was a kid um do something like that um uh, especially if you have kids in your life like if you're a parent like take your kids to you know those types of environments um because not only are you nurturing your inner child you're giving your your own children an opportunity to expand their mind and see new things um within their lifetime so i will say that if you wanted to be like a vet then definitely go and you know visit like an aquarium and you know a zoo or you know something like that somewhere where you can feel you know connected to the animals or more so like a farm or you know things like that um if you wanted to be a doctor, you don't necessarily have to go get your doctorate and become a doctor, but, you know, visit, you know, certain spaces, see if that energy is still there, see if the need or the want to be this is still there because it's not that you have to be like, oh, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing and be a doctor because you don't have to do that. But I think your inner child wants to kind of like outlive these things in a way. Um... If you wanted to be a musician, go to a concert or go to a recording studio. You know what I'm saying? Make a song. You don't even have to be nothing serious. Just get that experience in to really see, you know, what it is for you. So I honestly think that this time period for y'all, this month um, of April is really just giving y'all opportunity to explore certain fantasies and, you know, certain... Um, yeah, I'm going to just say fantasies and desires. That's what I was going to say. Fantasies and desires at this time. Um... I'm trying to think of another one. If you wanted to be an actress, go to an acting school or, you know, see if there's um, a theater, you know, near you that you can visit or a Broadway show that you could go to um, or go to the movies. Hell, just go to the movies and admire the film. Like there's little things that you can do to continue out living that for your inner child without having to actually do that said thing. Because like I said, your passions may have changed. You may have went from wanting to be a musician to wanting to be a freaking fitness uh fitness trainer you know what i'm saying or health advisor or something like that um so know that it does vary and you don't have to you know do what your inner child wanted to do but you can at least outlive it in some way because they want to also experience these things through you okay um so let's see what else you have here this tarot deck and y'all i'm using a comedic tarot deck uh, and I'm also using the Isis Oracle. Ooh, okay, these cards fill out. All right, let's get into it. All right, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups, Ma'at, which is Justice, and then the Nine of Swords. So there's some stress here, Sagittarius. Maybe you're overwhelmed with a lot of the load that you're carrying. Like, there's a lot that you're carrying on your back right now. Um... Or you're just overwhelmed with like all the possibilities and, you know, paths that you could take. Like, let me give you the, the vision that I just got. So, Sag, I see you standing at the end of, oh, I'm hearing end of the road by Boys to Men. So, that song may have some significance for you guys. But um, I am giving like this. You're standing at the end of the road. Okay. The Seven of Cups is going to indicate how many paths are in front of you. You got seven different paths that are in front of you. I would be overwhelmed too. Okay, I would be overwhelmed too. So it's not that you're overwhelmed because it's too much. You're overwhelmed because you probably want to do all seven of these things. You probably want to walk every single one of these paths because you want to know what's on each path. Because if you knew what was on each path, it'd make it a lot easier for you to decide which path you feel is best for you. But they all are set out in front of you. You don't know which path to walk because they all look amusing to you. They all look exciting to you. So with that being said, this month is really you exploring those seven paths. Explore those seven paths. You can walk that path and get off and go to the next one, get off that path and go to the next one. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be just one and done. You know what I'm saying? Experience all of these paths because you're overwhelmed because you're like, I don't know which one I want to pick. I want to pick this one. I want to pick that one. I want to pick this one, but I don't know. Like you feel conflicted and I come, I, I get it. I get it. It's definitely overwhelming to have all these options in front of you, but which option, you know, yeah, I, I can understand. I get your dilemma right now because I'm like, Ugh, I can't even validate that because, uh. but honestly, you know, um, looking at all seven of these paths, you know, there's nothing different about them. They all look the same. They all look the same, Sag. I'm looking at this visual. They all look the same. So in a sense, all of these paths are simply a reflection of you. So which one is more, um, I guess, which one do you feel more called to? 
you know? Is it the third path? Is it the fourth path? Is it the second path? Is it the seventh path? Which path do you personally feel called to? If you feel called to none of these paths, then maybe you have to ask yourself, what do I really want? What do I really want to do? Who do I want to be? You know, what is what is all of this, you know, about? Um, and sometimes you just have to take that that risk and just take that leap of faith and be like, fuck it. I don't know which path I'm going to go down, but I'm going to go down the fourth one because the fourth one looked cool in my in my head. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of go for it. Um, and when you go for it, it's an experience that you get. And if you don't like it, you can always go to the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth or the sixth or the... I already say fourth, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. So you can always revisit, you know, these paths if you feel one is not working for you. And that may also be your dilemma is that you have walked a path and you don't like the path, but you feel you're so far gone that you can't turn back around. Okay. You probably already started walking the fourth path and you realize like, damn, I don't even want to do this no more. Like this is stressful. This is boring. Like this is traumatizing. Like some of y'all just kind of feel like, damn, I don't even want to do this. Like this doesn't even make me feel good. Um, but you can always turn around. And I think that's what spirit's trying to tell y'all. Y'all can turn around. You can start over. There's nothing wrong with starting over, Sag. There's nothing wrong with starting over. You may feel there's something wrong with it because in a way you may feel that you failed. But you didn't fail because you didn't like something. You just simply did not like it. So don't feel because you have walked away from your job or walked away from a relationship or walked away from, you know, belief system or whatever that you are a failure. Because that is not the truth. That is not the case because you just didn't like it. It did not resonate with you. This did not resonate with you. And that is perfectly fine. Okay. Whatever it is that you feel in your spirit just doesn't mesh with you. That just doesn't seem to fit in your life anymore because it isn't meant to. It's just not meant to fit in your life. Okay. So with my op being here, being the scales and coming through to bring balance and justice into this, you know, forefront, it does feel like you guys have to be honest with yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, because y'all may be holding on to this, this degree or holding on to this, um, this job because you know, it's, it pays you well and you know, yada, 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 but you don't like it. You go there and you're miserable. You go there and you're exhausted and you're tired and you're bored and you're just, oh, you don't even feel like yourself. You don't feel like yourself when you when you there. So why would you continue to be in a space where you don't feel like your best? You know what I'm saying? You're not always going to feel your best. But why are you in a space where you're constantly feeling terrible, feeling shitty, feeling stressed and down and beat up? And why do you want to continue being in an environment that doesn't acknowledge you and doesn't celebrate you? That's the one right there. You need to be in environments and in spaces and in relationships where you're celebrated because that energy is going to be reciprocated. You always going to celebrate you. You fucking Sagittarius. You're going to celebrate. But you need to be in environments where you're celebrated, okay? You need to be, you need to go where you're celebrated, okay? When you look at all seven of these paths, which one do you feel the biggest cheer come from? The biggest woo come from, okay? When you look down these paths, which one is the one that's just like, yes, this, this is where I'm going to be celebrated. This is where I can not only celebrate, but be celebrated. Because maybe even going back to what I said earlier about separate and work and play, Maybe that's been the issue all along is that you've been separated work and play. You need somewhere where you can always play and have fun, but still get shit done. You know what I'm saying? So obviously, you know, separate the two, but maybe that separation for you has been, you know, what's keeping you from feeling good and feeling that celebratory energy that you are worthy of. So now, also too, the reason why Spirit just gave me that, the reason why the past didn't have anything on them is because it's personalized. So I'm looking from a collective standpoint. So obviously I'm not going to see everything, you know, that these pasts have because me, I am one person reading for, let me say thousands of people, you know? So that's thousands of paths I would have to see. Probably even like millions of paths I would have to see. So Spirit just showed it to me naked because for you personally, the Sag that's watching this, you're going to see these seven paths as different things that, you know, are related to you. Um, so I had to clear that up because it came to me and I was like, oh, okay, makes sense. But next we're going to take the Isis Oracle deck um, and go in and see what messages Isis has for you guys for the month of April. But yeah, this month of April is honestly giving y'all opportunity to figure out uh, which path is for you. What path is for you? All right. Ooh. Enter the chamber of healing. Come on, healing. 
Come on with the heel now. All right. What else? What else? What else? You're healing your thought form surrounding um, work, um, business, your life as a whole. So you're honestly healing your belief system. That seems to be the biggest thing for you, Sag. Okay. You're healing your belief system. Um, pillar of light, descent. Did I say that right? Descent of the star of Isis. Okay. And then you got talisman of potency, charging sacred objects of power. You also have, okay, it doesn't want to separate. I'm just taking them both together. Rising sun, the divine solar child reborn, wings of Isis, uniting with the angelic self, and eye of Horus, awakening divine perspective or perception. Back of the deck is abundance of softness, stellar blessings of the celestial goddess of abundance. So with all of this energy, I feel like for a lot of you, like as you heal your beliefs, you're healing a part of yourself that was suppressed. You know, that voice that was suppressed at five years old, you're giving it a voice now because you're healing your belief system. You know, you probably got so much within you that's different from one another. You know, like you may have um, different belief systems based on different like versions of yourself throughout the years. So in all honesty, you have to have an open mind because, you know, there's a part of you that, you know, believes in Christianity, but there's also a part of you that is more spiritual and, you know, aware of, you know, certain other things. So you don't want to place those limitations on yourself because when you're limiting one voice, you're limiting so many other voices um, as well. So I think that's the biggest thing for you guys right now is making sure that you're not suppressing your voice, suppressing your beliefs. Um, they deserve to be heard. So if someone has made you feel like you're doing too much or you're talking too much or whatever, then you just don't need to be around those people. Because if anything, like I said, you need to be celebrated, Sagittarius. If you're around somebody and you're talking and you're expressing a truth or a belief that you have, and they try to shut that down, you do not need to be around them because you need to be celebrated. You need to be acknowledged. People need to acknowledge that, you know, you have an expansive mind. You're unlimited, okay? You're a fucking mutable sign for crying out loud. If somebody tries to limit you or tell you, oh, that's, that doesn't make sense or I don't, I don't resonate with that or I don't, I don't believe what you're saying to be true or whatever, you know, we could always agree to disagree, but when you're around people that are trying to, you should be talking like that. Stop talking like trying to tell you what you need to be doing. You need to get away from them because a real friend, if they don't agree, they're going to say like, oh, I don't really resonate with that. But you know, that's interesting that you say that, you know what I'm saying? Rather than somebody's like, oh, you need to shut up. That don't make no sense. Like you're going to hell. You know how people really be so slick to like try and dim your light because they feel your belief is lesser or they believe that you're less than them um, and don't want to uplift you you know even if you say something that they don't resonate with you know there's no need to dismiss me as a whole you know what i'm saying don't dismiss me as a whole because you don't resonate with what i said or what i believe so i think in that sense y'all have to make sure that y'all aren't dismissing yourselves because there's so much that you want to explore there's so much that you want to do but when you got that part of you telling you oh no we don't need to be doing that that's stupid then that's going to shut that down within you. Whether it's your inner child, whether it's a past life version of you, whether it's your feminine, whether it's your masculine, you don't want to keep shutting down these different parts of yourself because another part of you don't believe or another part of you don't see it that way or whatever. So with the pillar of light in the wings of Isis, uh, this is uniting with the angelic self. And this one is um, the descent of the star of Isis. So with this, I feel like, the star is obviously our soul. You know, we're made out of stardust. That's our soul. Okay. Now, uniting with the angelic self, obviously, is the soul. So, you're merging your physical and your metaphysical right now, Sagittarius. So, um, I wouldn't be surprised if y'all have another awakening this month um, because that could definitely <laughs> happen. Okay. You could definitely have an awakening this month. Um, uh, what was I about to say? What was I about to say? um yeah okay so awakening um uh, merging with your metaphysical and physical um i don't know i don't know if it comes back to me it comes back to me but yeah it seems like you guys are having in some type of an oh that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say this and this is just a disclaimer when it comes to awakenings you don't awaken just one time because you wake, you awaken to different systems you awaken to different beliefs you awaken to different experiences so an awakening doesn't just happen one time. 
Um, so just because you're having an awakening this time around doesn't mean that you never had an awakening you had two years ago, or you didn't have an awakening that you had after, you know, you broke up with a, a certain someone or whatever the case you're always, you're constantly awakening. I mean, we literally wake up every single day. So you're constantly awakening, but this is an awakening that's going to create a shift, a massive shift at that. Um, so with this type of energy, you guys are moving and, and moving in so many different ways, which is why seven paths are here because you have so much that you want to experience like your soul wants to experience so much um so make sure that you aren't limiting yourself and i think this awakening is because you've stopped limiting yourself and you allowed yourself to be limitless okay um next is the talisman of potency charging sacred objects of power and i of course awakening divine perception so use those tools if you have um tarot cards or you know oracle cards or um um, um what's it called oh my gosh what is it called I literally am looking at it right now. It's literally right here and I cannot think of the name. What is the name of this? Um, um, um. Oh my gosh. What is this called? Oh, uh, runes, runes, runes. There it is, the runes. If you have runes, if you have, um, if you have bones, if you read bones, if you read, um, through scrying, so like a crystal ball or a scrying mirror or, um, uh uh what is it called what is it called what is it called i'm literally looking at that right now too um charms if you read charms if you read uh objects like obviously the card says objects so if you read objects i cannot remember the psychic ability but that is a psychic ability where you can read something by having it in your possession whether you're holding like a like a uh Holding a, a piece of this nail polish. You know what I'm saying? Like holding some nail polish. You could get some type of, you know, a message from that. Um, but yeah, that seems to be the biggest thing here is that, you know, you guys have gifts. You just need to utilize them. Okay. Utilize your gifts through the tools that you have right now. The objects that you have in your possession. Use them right now. So if you have a tarot deck, go ahead and pull a tarot deck um, out and pull a card for yourself. Just one card. It don't have to be 3,000 cards, full spread. Just one card will suffice. Okay. This is the message that I'm getting for you guys specifically, Sag. So if you are an astrologer or if you don't even take in, you know, spiritual um, tools and, you know, things like that. Find at least something around you. One thing. The moment you turn your head, what are you looking at? What is it? What is that thing? And what significance does it has have to you? I don't care if it's a wall. You know what I'm saying? A wall is placed up to, you know, create some type of protection and, and structure so that the, the house don't collapse on me. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care if it's a wall. I don't care if it's a pencil or paper or whatever. There's a reason as to why you looked at that said thing. Okay. So turn around if you don't have any of these tools. And what is the first thing that you see? First thing I see when I turn around, bam, my marker board. Okay. What is, what's on my marker board? I actually have stuff wrote down on my marker board. I have my YouTube schedule on my marker board. I got things that I need to do every single day on my marker board. So that's something that I need to be visiting every single day. That's basically the message I get for myself with that. So if you're having a hard time deciphering what the message is, please put it down in the comments. I will help you out. Okay. We're going to figure it out. I'm really good at the coding shit. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's video. Feel free to tune in next week to see what I got to say. Uh, I love you all. Don't forget to hydrate, meditate, and I will see you all next time. Peace.